All right. Everyone's rock and roll, ready to go? Clapped and... Uh, ready to get chapped. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, this is how they did podcasts in the 40s. And they're giving us diarrhea. Welcome to... The Hunks Podcast, uh, broadcasting from the internet to every nook and cranny and uncle and nanny <laughs> who has access to the internet. Uh, this is the Hunks Podcast. Hunks is a sketch comedy group based out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, the tundra from Middle Undra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Tim. I'm Dana. I'm Matt. I'm Rory. And uh, we are joined today with by a very, very special guest. And uh, I heard before this that he's supposed to be a gracious host. It's not uh, on the guest to be gracious. So uh, for the first three episodes of season two, I've really been putting it on the guest. This time, I'm going to try to take some of that graciousness <laughs> on myself. So without further ado, let's introduce our guest, award-winning comedian, podcaster, and writer, Hailing from Toronto, on, I was going to say Toronto, California, it's Stacey McGonagall. Hello, Toronto, California, she, she, wee, wee. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello and welcome to the, to the Hunks podcast. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited to be on this podcast. I've been looking forward to it for days. <laughs> days. That makes one of us. One of us. How dare you? Oh my God. So not gracious. You are not being a gracious host right now. Sorry, okay? sorry. Not immediately not gracious. I can't even believe. So a little bit of background information for the listener who isn't seeing the pudding being put. Um <laughs> Matt, I like that. Matt Nightingale of Hunks is uh, he's over at his Point Douglas house and he is having some issues with his internet. Mm. Um, it will not it will not abide. Mm. So Matt That's is true. on the phone. He's on a telephone calling into the Zoom meeting. Something I wasn't even sure was real until tonight. Yeah, this is how they did podcasts in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I really we feel were like... recovering from the depression and everybody had a pod. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was it was a, a, a govern. You got your government allotment of podcasts during the war. You got you know, one podcast yeah, right. a week. <laughs> yeah, certain amount of grain, certain amount of rice. Yeah, people were lined up around the block for Mordecai Marin's pod. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Uh, uh, Stacy, I understand you're, you've been having some internet issues <laughs> yourself. I don't know if you want to get into it on the podcast. Oh, Is that too personal? No, I'm happy to do it. Um, I <laughs> have called Rogers every day. Um, I just bought new internet thinking it would be better and it was worse. So oh, no. I haven't had internet for like a full week. And um, I saw a maintenance truck outside and I turned into everyone's mom and I was like, hey, Hey, what else are you here for? <laughs> just like, uh. yeah. So I get it. It's wild. It is wild when you don't have internet. <laughs> <laughs> like it's incredible. Agreed. I once lent somebody my phone. Have you ever done that? Somebody was Ooh. like, can I make a call? So I let them have my phone to make a call, and then I was like, oh, I'll just play like a game or surf the. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guess, guess I'll leaf I through was my standing. wallet. <laughs> guess I'll just yeah. look at them. <laughs> yeah. It's the only option. <laughs> yeah. What do we do with our hands and our eyes before the internet? I have no idea. I don't want to know. It's sad. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. my addiction is so real and it's become so prevalent. Mm -hmm. And, um,. I'm not going to change it. I'm not. This isn't a moment of growth, but it is a moment of acknowledgement. You're still leading an, an examined life, you know, even if you don't make any yeah. changes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but I get it. It's terrible, but I'm here and I'm so happy. Yay. 
I, I, not the same for all of us here, but maybe <laughs> one day. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy you're here. I'm just, I just meant Whoa. you're the only one who's happy to be here, period. And again, oh. that's insulting to me, Rory, yeah. and my happiness levels, okay? Yeah. I'm very happy. <laughs> Stop putting words, shitty words in our mouths. It's true. It's true. I'm happy to be here. I don't know why I'm defaulting to negative. I'm very happy to be here. This is the best time mm. of the week. Rory gets yeah. one sip yeah, of scotch really in his gullet, and he's all like, let me tell you kids how it is. All right? That's nice. I'm going to call into CJOB tonight. <laughs> Matt, give me your phone. <laughs> uh, Stacey, I understand you're in the middle of getting rich. How's that going? <laughs> I am getting rich. Okay. Um, you know, like everyone, uh, uh, comedy is obviously dead, and mm-hmm. uh, at least in Toronto. So mm-hmm. I was like, looking for coins and I, <laughs> I was looking I for like coins breaking everywhere. Open boxes. <laughs> yeah. Smashing barrels. Yeah. Like couch cushions. Like I was like, I'm not above this. It's not going well for me. Yeah. Hey, you um, don't live here. Yeah. And I was like, who cares, Crystal? It's not about you. I'm wearing a mask. Jesus Christ. Um, so, <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. What else do you want, Crystal? Jeez. Sure, it's full of quarters, but it's a mask. <laughs> I thought you were about community. These are community quarters, Crystal. You're scaring my children. <laughs> oh, please. They hate you, too. <laughs> Crystal sucks, uh, but she did subscribe to my YouTube channel, so I forgive her. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying every get rich quick scheme I can find on the internet Mm -hmm. um and i'm trying to see if it works so i'm currently um so i've been filming myself doing a bunch of stuff i'm currently trying to flip furniture which i know you all oh yes right we talked about yes this before let me me tell you it's not working out for me no (laughs) one is buying no one's buying my shit what the fuck (laughs) see we've never sold furniture we've just made it for our shitty little selves so Mm -hmm. okay you need to start selling the furniture oh actually that you're making something but yeah it was sight unseen so i don't know (laughs) you know how long did it take to get a bite well, no, it was bought. Well, it was already it was, paid uh, for. It was like a co- commission. Oh, a commission. It was commission a commission. Piece. I did. Yes, I did a residency <laughs> in uh, <laughs> somebody's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. That's Some nice. Commission to work. Yeah. So they're like, there's this thing where people buy stuff from IKEA for like 20 bucks and then paint it a different color and sell it on Kijiji mm-hmm. for or Craigslist for a hundred bucks, right? Like, yes. That's what? the idea. Yeah, people do that. Yeah. Oh, they people make so much money. That? Oh, all the time. Wow. People love a chalk paint, a thick, <laughs> oh. a thick paint that will crust. They want it. Please give me that chalk paint. <laughs> yeah. So I found this chair and yeah. then the chair, I looked it up. Uh, you can like do like a Google lens, like yes. that app or whatever. And so I was like, okay, well, let's see how much this is, this is going to be. And I was like, I thought it might be 50 bucks. And then apparently this chair is like a Canadian relic from like the 1800s and it's like handmade and chairs like that are going for like two grand. Whoa. Oh my God. Yeah. So I was like, I'm freaking rich. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes. Threw my coins back at Crystal. I was like, yes. I don't need you anymore. Yes, I don't need you, Crystal. Your kids still don't like you. Get off my YouTube channel. Yes. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You stink like shit and your wife hates you. (laughs) Exactly. You get it? So you know Crystal. (laughs) But I can't even get a hundred bucks for it. So I'm just like, you know, I'm not doing well. No one in a pandemic is like, ooh, a Canadian artifact. (laughs) You know, two thousand please. Needs a two thousand dollar chair. And it's not one to sit in; it's one to point yeah. at. It's not even comfortable. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still quite poor, but you know what I mean. The YouTube's going, so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The YouTube's going. The YouTube's going. I'm the glad, thirst is real. I'm glad that you're doing this, though. Because you like? I'm, I'm a huge like sucker for these get rich quick schemes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. A little too lazy to follow through on them, though. Mm. But I'm they glad take that a long you're time. testing these out. Well, let me tell you, a lot of them suck full poo and pee, and <laughs> <laughs> they are um, not fun. And I've made zero dollars. <laughs> yeah. But 
you know, if they You just got to find work, the right one, you. right? I know. Like you I did know. that episode. We, we talked about it because I, I was in Toronto in September mm-hmm. on a COVID tour. And, yes, um, it was beautiful. <laughs> we had a nice like socially distanced uh, outdoor hangout. Mm-hmm. And we uh, talked about, you know... Uh, the end of comedy and yep. <laughs> how we're gonna you know, some or make it a, in this water world situation <laughs> yeah. we just watched water world yeah yeah, yeah okay <laughs> 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 isn't that great when you watch something and just force it into anything you're talking about <laughs> The world's a lot like Forrest Gump these days. I feel like Kevin Costner in, I don't know, Waterworld. Just stranded. Yeah. Yeah, this funeral's a lot like Little Nicky. Hey, this wedding is exactly like the news. I'm going to describe everything moving forward as little Nikki. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, that's so funny. Where were we? So uh, what's the... What's, comedy? Oh, I right. was going to ask, yes. what's, the, what's the wildest get rich quick scheme that you've tried so far? Well, okay. So the wildest one um, I did, well, uh, is in the works, is I was talking to a friend of mine who makes a ton of cash burping on OnlyFans. Right. Oh, my God. That rules. <laughs> Yeah, it's the best. She's she's a stand up. Yeah. Her name's Christina Walkinshaw yeah, on OnlyFans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Her name's Burps McGill <laughs> <laughs> on OnlyFans. And she is really hot and heavy in the burp community. Oh my god. And she makes tons of cash. And so I was just like so I'm just I'm trying to think about a way that I can peruse OnlyFans in yeah. a way that won't make me um, a full porn star, yeah, but yeah. something that will mm-hmm, yeah. afford, you know, like an old navy sweater, like not on sale. <laughs> mm. Yes, you now, know, is that the thing? Is because to me, OnlyFans is sort of like a sexualized thing. So, is, yeah, are people jerking off to these burps. Is that the idea? <laughs> I mean, right? I guess a little bit. Be. I think they must be. It, it kind of feels like that's what is happening on that's the DOS running under Windows, right? Like. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. You're a fan. Um yeah, so it's I It's like but the it, child in little Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Sort of a Jack and Jill. Um that's that movie, right? That's yeah. an Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah. swinging a miss, but um yeah, so I that one was like a wild one. So it got me thinking like what like is that something but you know people do go there to like you know have have a jerk jerk off time so yeah. i'm not quite sure <laughs> but I, I mean i guess that's the trick is to find something like burping where you're like this is the furthest thing from sexual for me if you're having a good mm-hmm. time fine i'll take your money but this is just funny for me to do Mm. Yeah, she, like she yeah. d- like she sent me some of the things that she posts, and it's like her coming out of a pub, fully clothed, being like, "I just had some beer and some sausage rolls," and she just lets them rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the coolest. My hero, really. That's like, amazing. No. <sighs> but it's not like she has pedestrian burps. These are like no, they're deep. uniquely wonderful yeah. burps. These are profound yes. please tim i used they, to get in wow. trouble for my burps <laughs> yeah from, well, listen, they, from your church. now you have a new platform <laughs> uh, i don't want to take i don't i don't want to step into different territory i gotta think of i was thinking what what, what else do i do well uh, fart um. <laughs> okay all right all right <laughs> maybe like a horrific sneeze like maybe people are into the shock of it man that oh, would yeah. be you'd have to be filming oh, yeah. like 24 7 though because you i right. mean yeah can, mm-hmm. can you guys trigger your sneezes i can't well no. you, some people can look at the sun and they'll sneeze oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i guess when somebody sneezes i get triggered but <laughs> I just my temper problem. Oh, but, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can do it with like a little piece of paper in my nostril and I can get one going. Do you want me to get one going right now? Wait, what? No, a thanks. little piece yeah. of paper yeah. in your nostril? <laughs> the fuck yeah, do you yeah. mean? <laughs> why, why have you done that ever? And why did you have a, 
one at the ready. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's you, bright pink. Like I love it. I don't think I want to do. That. I, I haven't done this since like grade six. I don't. I don't know how much time I want to spend just <laughs> sticking something up my nose <laughs> on this podcast. Wait, nose. let's take let's take a backtrack there. Grade six. What were you doing? That was the trick. Oh, that was one of the tricks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Farting with the armpits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. a great one. Yeah. Put that down. <laughs> I can uh, do like the Wayne's yeah. World belly roll. Oh, nice. oh yeah. That's oh, great. yeah. That's I hard. That. I bet you that's only fans worthy for sure. Oh, yeah. But I feel like it would have to have like something painted on or it'd be you like know. folding some <laughs> origami <laughs> or something you'd, you'd like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> dress up like different historical figures every Ooh. time. <laughs> like Abraham Lincoln <laughs> does the belly roll. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Finding reasons to do it horse, like historically, yeah, like what yeah. would have made sense yeah. in yeah. that time. And, and yeah. the budget just grows and grows. And eventually it's this full <laughs> epic, like 20 minutes lead up backstory, <laughs> historical battle. And then at the end, it's Napoleon and he pulls up his shirt and does a belly. <laughs> 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 You'd be a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, You'd yeah. You'd be making so much coin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Caesar is like, hey, do, Brute. And then they both start <laughs> belly rolling. I mean, we can put Hunks' energy into this. I'm down. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's nice. A collective, an OnlyFans collective. <laughs> That's cute. I'll sign up. We're a family. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice. <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh! Wow! <laughs> I gave you a Tim full just, stop. Full, full, full was... bubbly sip. <laughs> blop, 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 blop. Did you all hear that there's going to be some new bubblies? It's like new flavors. It was so yeah, I was so excited, and then I got immediately so sad because uh, it was the Super Bowl, and I was like, "Whoa, pineapple!" Right. And I was like, "Oh, I'm in my 30s." <laughs> so sad. As soon as you said it, I was like, "Yeah, I did hear pineapple and peach. They're the new ones. <laughs> They're the new ones." I'm really excited for pineapple. I'm more excited for peach. That's crazy. Really? Really? Yeah. I'm a uh, peach. I'm a peach boy. Peach really? goes. Peach goes well with like uh, the idea of a cold beverage. Mm-hmm. I think. Peach, you know, I think. Per- I mean, okay, no, maybe not. I'm, I'm- no, you're not wrong. You're right. You're Turning right. On this. Yeah, whatever you want is what you want. I just feel like it would taste like fuzzy peaches, but without the good part. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah, that's true. There's always something a bit lacking. That's why I, I can't I can't mess with a fake strawberry either. You oh, know, yeah. Yeah. it's not worth my time. Yeah. Don't they use crickets mm-hmm. for a fake strawberry flavor or something like what? that? What? No. Yeah, yeah, there's some, some like bug. exoskeleton <laughs> bug that they use to, to make the artificial uh, strawberry flavor. That's crazy. Why? What? We why should are have we a fact checker eating, on this. Why yeah, are we all eating crickets all the time you, if they taste like strawberries? Even vaguely Damn. like strawberries. <laughs> Even just a little. I <laughs> yeah. eat them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> We're always just looking for an excuse to eat bugs. Uh, huh? Just looking around for bugs in my room. And you're like, no, 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 it's okay. They're the strawberry ones. Yeah, They're yeah. the strawberry ones. I love them. You're weird, Crystal. <laughs> Go make me some soda water, Crystal. <laughs> did you guys do um, dry January? No. Um, no, I did moist January. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I did too. Chance of rain. Dry <laughs> Chance January. Rain. Chance yeah, of rain. Yeah, yeah. It was just mostly raining. Yeah. Um, it was a dry cold. Yeah, it was a dry cold for sure. But yeah, definitely on the soda water train. And I feel mm-hmm. very old mm-hmm. in my obsession with it and need for it. Yeah. Um, so I got, got one, one of those, those soda streams. Yeah, the soda streams. Ooh. Life-changing. You just add like a little tiny little bit of little bit of juice and uh, you're flying high, mm. you know? That's nice. Yeah. Flying Except high. for when my soda stream runs out and then I just buy soda water for another year. And I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. I got to use that soda stream. <laughs> Which is currently it's what's happening. It's up on blocks in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Some Covered guys in living in it. <laughs> just, just practicing your chip into it. <laughs> so it t- apparently it's it's not, it doesn't make the flavor of this bug, but it makes the coloring, the pink coloring oh, from okay. crushed insect called, it's a, oh. uh, from... Cochineal is made from uh, ta- Dactylopius caucus. Is it like ladybugs? I've heard that. Like ladybugs. No, it's a white, it's a little white bug. 
oh. that makes the coloring for strawberry. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Ew. Bugs. We're crushing ladybugs for what? I thought coloring as well. That Ooh. sounds terrible. Cock and yeah. bugs. sad Pixar movie. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ew. And you look at the pictures of the bugs and they look like, fuck, they're, they're just fucked up. They look like Ew. The, the most disgusting bug. Show, show it to the camera. Um, well, no. No. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. No. No. It's no. Fucked. No. No. Describe it. So fucked. <laughs> Dana, can you describe what the bugs look like and try to use as many movie references as possible? Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, on a scale of one to five, little Nickies, where does it fall? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, at least four little Nickies worth of disgusting. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Ooh. um, you know, like the uh. Um, oh, I can't think of any. You know, in in Waterworld, when <laughs> <laughs> when Kevin Costner is like comes out of the water, and but he's like kind of dry and kind mm. of wet, and you're yes. like, ew. <laughs> he yeah. looks yeah. so <laughs> gross. It's like that bug, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or that part Ooh. where you, they find his gills behind his oh, ears. Oh, I was just gonna oh, say. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I thought that movie was so good. Is it? Does it hold up? That's what I thought. So I it's fine. So, I, fully I, ex- I fully <laughs> expected it to be like the worst fucking thing in the entire world. But it, you know what? It's fine. I, yeah, yeah I, I didn't see it when it came out, but I just saw it being lampooned by mm-hmm. everyone. Uh, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and it was like the butt of so many jokes for yeah. so many years. Yeah. Yeah. And I never mm-hmm. watched it. And then last year on my birthday, we were in Los Angeles, yes. California. Ooh. And we went to Universal so Studios Cal. right next to Toronto, <laughs> very close, <laughs> just no, south well. of Toronto. Uh, we took the 401 down <laughs> to the 69. <laughs> nice, hell yeah! <laughs> uh, we went to go see the the stunt show that the movie is based off of, and I uh, cool. loved the stunt show. And it wasn't until like this year, close to my birthday, uh, this like a week ago. We watched uh, the full Waterworld movie, and I think seeing the origin story really helped. Uh, otherwise, maybe I wouldn't have been able to follow it. <laughs> follow the water show? The origin story of Waterworld. I also love how it's intermixed with your birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Celebrate my birthday every year. Every year. Something to do with Waterworld. <laughs> and I really appreciate that I take the time on my birthday to respect the origin story of Waterworld. <laughs> so, sorry, did you say that Waterworld is based on a stunt show? Yes. <laughs> There's two big movie franchises that are based off stunt shows. Pirates of the Caribbean, which has been a stunt show at Disney World since well, like the 50s. I don't think it's Wasn't a it? I don't think it was a I stunt show so much as it was just like a, a place a, like a, a ride that went through like at one of those shitty rides I think unless I'm remembering it wrong where it just goes through like a pirate environment and there's like animatronic pirates like Right. Yeah, it's not a stunt show I don't think. It's like a Chuck E Cheese but a ride. Yeah. Mm. Whoa! You sure? I've it never seems been. Like it would be a stunt ah, show. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Robot after stunt going show. to Waterworld, I'm like, this feels like Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Hmm. I think maybe I don't know. Honestly, there's no way to know. There's no way to find out. No way out to know. What no, the truth let's is not. No. <laughs> let's just keep it how it is. Dana it's can nice. Google it and then not show it to us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so <soul> fucked. <laughs> 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 so you just had a birthday? Yes, I did. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. How old are you now? 34. Damn. The big I'm 30. Four. I'm turning 35 uh, on the 27th. Oh. Hell yeah. What are you the- planning? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to plan this amazing thing. I'm going to um, be home <laughs> alone. <laughs> um, my parents will probably forget and, yeah. and i will do did you guys do like a zoom hang because i'm on the fence i'm just like mm. maybe it's a treat that i don't have to do that yeah. right right everyone's just kind of like mm. happy birthday there yeah i did yeah, yeah. i didn't do one i, I guess yeah you I, did i was there tim <laughs> well, you not have one to. It's the only mentioning. way. Oh. No one was having a good time. No one, no one was wanted happy to be, to be there. there. 
totally. Yeah, Except I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a birthday right before it all shut down. So my last birthday was like drunk, oh, doing yeah. karaoke at the Monarch Tavern, mm-hmm. which is just like a dive nasty bar. And oh, now yeah. I'm just like, Good it's bar. crazy that it's been a year. Like I that know. now it's yeah. no more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Anyways, really brought it down. <laughs> Quick. Anyways, happy birthday. Maybe you'll watch, maybe you'll watch Waterworld. Yeah, watch Waterworld. <laughs> I can't recommend it enough. You deserve it. You deserve to watch Waterworld. Yeah. yeah, treat yourself. I will. My mom used to watch The Postman all the time because mm. it was always on TV. Yeah. Isn't that the one where he's like, yeah. it's kind of like Waterworld, but with male? And- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the world where he has to swim, he can breathe the male. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's behind his ear is like male sorters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know the one. Yeah. And then the tin cup where it was like world but for golf. But for golf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he shoots that last, you know, that last hit. The gill reveals. <laughs> Yeah, he was still he was still a mermaid or whatever. Or whatever. But, but he was golfing this time. Wait, wait. Is he a mermaid well, in Waterworld? I mean, Basically. Like sort he's of. A, a merman, but without the legs stuck Pretty. together. He's got like the gilly the gill or like the webbed feet. Spoiler alert. Which basically just look like he's wearing like nasty oh yeah sorry spoiler alert <laughs> it basically just looks like he dipped his feet in goo it's disgusting yeah yeah, yeah. Ew. yeah. Thick, thick goo thick thick goo ew uh, i miss kind of like those gross sort of like kevin costner movies like you know everyone's so pretty now you know yeah. like kevin costner I guess, is attractive in the way that you're like oh wow ashley's stepdad's i guess pretty cool like, you know? yeah you're like you forget the fact like in water world i was just like why doesn't he have much hair like he seems much too right. young for this and like nowadays everyone puts more hair on so yeah. like it's yes. so confusing to see to see his scalp yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah like in the early 90s it was like are you a bit bald like still get in here <laughs> yeah. you don't have sex with that fuck that guy's hot <laughs> put him on a magazine he's got I some would... hairs <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's attainable to me. <laughs> oh, those jeans fit. <laughs> nice. Ooh, wee. <laughs> like, like David Spade was allowed to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And as like a kid, I was attracted to him. Mm-hmm. Me too. I, that's mm-hmm. nuts. I mean, I was also it's into nuts. Crash Bandicoot, but like, still. <laughs> oh, there you go. A bad boy. Yeah. yeah. The boy. Like the V-shaped creature. bad boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember watching Jurassic Park and being like, yes, Jeff Goldblum. Mm-hmm. Like, what a weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's nice. Like, Bruce Willis is like hot, but is he hot? Mm, no. Yeah. You've realized no. later that he's. I feel like actually Jeff Goldblum was one where I was like, I didn't realize at the time I was like, glasses? Yeah, right. I know what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a nerd and I don't like him. And then, and then like later I was like, oh man. <laughs> That's yeah. Nice. yeah. But Bruce Willis was like, at the time, I was like, yeah, no, I get it. He's got that face that's always, like, pointed downwards. And he's got, <laughs> yeah. like, those point, that pointy Hard mouth. Lines. um, Pointy little mouth. And you're like, I'm into it. But now I'm just like, he wore hats, I mm-hmm. guess. He pulled off a hat. Yeah. yeah. Well, he had to cover up the few hairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I miss that. Like, Seagal. Steven Seagal. Used, my mom thought he was so sexy, just always in a trench coat, yeah. just kind of <laughs> drunkenly garbling through a film. <laughs> she was like, ooh, sexy, huh? I'm like, I'd like him to be under my siege. <laughs> I've never hey, under- you kids should take up karate. <laughs> no, sorry. I've never understood why I've, why I've always found um, Sylvester Stallone attractive. Mm. Because his, like... His face is like concave, mm-hmm. um, yeah. But he's <laughs> so he pull, he works it well, you know. Is it a particular yeah. character or just in general, like the man Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> well, I mean, I I don't think there's much difference. Like he plays that's the basically truth. Basically, yeah. the same Fair. person 
yeah his own it's like mark Wahlberg. they yeah. don't know they're acting That's like true. they think yeah. what's happening is real yeah, yeah. <laughs> to them <laughs> yeah they get they get, get brought in with a blindfold on <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. figure it out somebody, you've got three months somebody hits the cage with a stick and they run out. <laughs> <laughs> they lure him out with some food <laughs> with some wall burgers <laughs> here, here Donnie here Donnie come on <laughs> Donnie's so eager yeah. like, <laughs> Donnie, Donnie's just ready to do whatever you want yeah, right. you guys need me to clean up because I'll stay I'll stay we're family now <laughs> There was a Wahlburgers outside of the second city and and it would take 35 minutes to make a grilled cheese. Like I don't oh, understand that restaurant. It makes no sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a fancy grilled cheese. There was not enough cheese, but it took forever. Yeah. I was like, "Jesus Christ, Donnie." <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the best I can back here. <laughs> I just shot a film. I thought it was real. <laughs> uh, so speaking of Second City, the first time that mm. uh, we crossed paths was seeing you at a at a Second City review that you absolutely killed it at. Oh, thanks. Um, if if this is if this is treading into something for your two truths and a lie. Um, uh, segment that we're going to get to in a minute then hmm. we can skip this question but i wanted to ask like so you've done you've done a number of reviews there at second city main stage in yeah. toronto mm-hmm. uh which is obviously that's huge that's really exciting um i understand sometimes like people who uh formerly were on second city would come to shows and like come backstage and want to meet some people and stuff like that mm. what was the coolest uh interaction you've had Oh, I've had some really, really fun ones. I met Shania Twain. Oh, shit. She smelled oh. like money. <laughs> yeah. she, was, yeah. she was the coolest. That's it so was, cool. uh, yeah, she apparently comes all the time. So uh, uh-huh. she came uh-huh. and it was like Canada Day. And she was like, get out and have a few drinks. It's, it's not even midnight. And she was like, these huge diamonds. And I was just like, I love you. Holy and she just shit. been on RuPaul's Drag Race, so oh, like nice. I talked to her about that. Oh my and god! And then I was like, Yeah, I was like, she's Shania looking at me. She's talking Canada to me. Day? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, ah. <laughs> uh, it was so cool. She was so so sweet. Um, we met Martin Short, which was oh. just like unreal, oh, and man, he was just the like best. the best. Like he was just putting on a show and. Um, oh. We were trying out new material that night, and so kind of how Second City works is like. When you're writing a new show, you do a full two hour show. Yeah. And then when you're trying new material, you um do like forty more minutes with stuff <laughs> that's poo or pee. Or whatever, you know? like, and you're just kind of like, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And he watched the whole thing and then he just like came in and he was like, Hello everyone. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and we were just like, whatever he was doing, we we're like, Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. He knew all of our names, so like Chris Wilson and the cast would asked him to sign um uh, his book Penis. he had his autobiography and he was like do you mind and he goes christopher of course oh. <laughs> like, oh, and wow. we were, it was just so freaking cool oh that's so sweet <laughs> but i think the coolest was um jack mcbrayer came oh shit um, oh wow yeah i mean like obviously like martin short like these are like huge names but yeah. jack mcbrayer came because he was like shooting a movie and he just like hung out with us and we went like to a few bars together like all of us oh, wow. and cool. he was so sarcastic and dry and he was there with like Disney people and he was like they'll pick up the tab like he was just like oh nice like really amazing <laughs> yeah and just such a little shit talker and it was so fun <laughs> that's, oh, that's great awesome. yeah are you yeah, sad that so, the Wayne Gretzky's uh, bar is closed now? Next, let time? me tell you. Yeah, <laughs> there was nothing like finishing a Second City show and going to Gretzky's, um, and then just spending so much money on like the shittiest. It was the just worst. the closest bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you get to love it. You're like, oh, I miss paying fifteen bucks for a moose head. <laughs> like nostalgic. Yeah, quite sad. It's all gone now. The whole building's yeah. destroyed. Oh. Gone. Nuts. It's crazy. So Second City yeah. is. Uh, has a new location at some point in the future or is working on it or it's I up mean, in the yeah, air? At some point, somewhere, Can we spread some sometime. rumors? Can we start spreading some rumors? It's going to be I on a I would love. 
It's going to be on a boat in the Toronto I Harbor. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. An hour or less. Um, <laughs> can we get a suggestion? Yes, it's the water. <laughs> uh, water world. Yeah, let's start that. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's got gills. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got gills. It's Jack McBrayer, but water world. <laughs> um, very cool stuff. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what will happen with it. It's it's gonna it's some somewhere, yeah. but it's crazy yeah. in Toronto to yeah. think of live comedy. It, right. It's not back where you are, right? This Saturday, the Comedy Club in Winnipeg is opening this Saturday, as in the Saturday of the recording. If you're listening to this episode when it's released, it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Every episode of the Hunks podcast drops at Sunday morning, 4.20 a.m. Manitoba time. Um, so, yeah, the Comedy Club is opening with 25% capacity. So we'll see how that goes. We'll Damn. see how that goes. Who knows? Yeah. I know, but that's exciting a little bit because yeah. it's I like heard that, such uh, a distant memory. Mm-hmm. Ontario <laughs> just announced that NHL players can perform live comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited. They get their, you know, they get their hands on some Kelsey's, you know, buffalo chicken sandwiches before we can. I hope they enjoy it. They all get to go to the keg. Like that's so stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. so mad. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how she go. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's jump into that uh, segment that we teased 10 minutes ago. Yes. Um, so this segment is called Two Truths and a Lie. Yep, yes, oh. Matt, do you want to explain how this game works? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, so Two Truths and a Lie is a game we like to play where one of us uh, says three statements and one of which is a lie, the other two are truths, and it's everybody's responsibility to guess what is the lie. And so we got Stacy McGonigal going to help us out this week. Okay, so I say my two truths and a lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we'll guess. Okay. Okay. Um, my initials are SLAM. Oh. I once gave the popular guy in high school diarrhea. Or <laughs> 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 get <laughs> <laughs> R- Rory, we can't ask questions. I know, I know. Can't ask questions. Yeah, can't ask questions. I know. Okay. Rory's always trying to cheat the system. And I have five siblings. Ooh. Five siblings. Okay. That's a lot. Did you guys know that? That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fox. <laughs> Fox. I wouldn't even look at that on Fox. the phone. Don't, don't even Google I, that, you guys. I don't want to see it. <laughs> so many little Nickies. <laughs> okay that's a tough one i ooh, gave or gave that di- it could be that you received diarrhea from- <laughs> 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 <It's cool. laughs> uh initials are slam uh that sounds mm-hmm. really cool i feel like that would be something you would have merchandise for or uh like a, <laughs> a jersey or something oh yeah um I'm going to say that the lie is the five siblings. I think you had five siblings. <laughs> They're all dead now? <laughs> They're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm hoping it's that one. <laughs> Please be dead. Please. I need this. I really need this. <laughs> the bank is going to foreclose on the house. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I think that I, I'm going to go with slam isn't your I think that it's spam oh nice Ooh. yeah ooh wee or spam yeah now I don't know how you give somebody diarrhea it <laughs> just seems like something you it's like you know it's like comedy either you have it or you don't <laughs> and, uh, so. some people really need to be told though <laughs> yeah. You can't learn this. This is not something you can just learn, okay? But you can get uh, much better at it. <laughs> yeah. You, yes, those and. who can't do a workshop, okay? And, <laughs> and, and they prey on substitute teachers who are kind of kooky. Uh, so I think I think the diarrhea one is the lie. I think your initials are slam and you do have five siblings. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that the <laughs> diarrhea one is the lie as well. I, I just don't understand the logistics of it, but I, I'm happy to hear it. 
No, that's the only one that I'm like yeah. sure is true because it's such a good one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I want it to be yeah, true. Yeah, I want to hear that story. <laughs> of course. Yes. Okay, I think we all have them in- entered and I think we have the spread covered. So mm-hmm. either way, we're going to win. <laughs> do I do I reveal it now? Yeah, reveal it. Yes. Okay, do, start, do you want, start the, with do the you want first one? Yeah, one at a time. Yeah. Okay, sure. Until so, you get to um, uh, my initials are slam. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Stacy Leanne McGonagall. Nice. Um, yep. It was that or a mandolin, nice. uh, which is what my mom was going to name me until she realized it was an instrument. <laughs> um, <laughs> <A> mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have four oh. siblings. Oh. oh. And I did give the cool guy in high school diarrhea. Yes. Now, Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How I did it was <clears throat> I worked at the local Dairy Queen mm. and I um, was not like a ooh, ooey ooey kind of gal. I had a permed <laughs> hair, a ton of braces in my mouth. I, po- I wore colored braces, braces. Like, like extra braces. Ton. Four layers. <laughs> Like when I finally took them off, people were like, whoa, your mouth. Like it wasn't a concept to people. That was the dentist. And- <laughs> <laughs> no, this is fine. Well, whoa. I don't even want to show you. <laughs> Actually, so true. And um, so anyways, I worked at Dairy Queen and my friend was dating this really hot guy. And I was like her friend who was like, you better respect her. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he came into Dairy Queen where I was the student manager. Okay. Yeah. And student. loved rules. And he was like, hey, McGonagall, give me some free shit. And I was like, fuck you. And um, so I gave him a... Uh, free food but it was like a burger that had been there like a day and a half (laughs) and like put it in the bun and like crunchy fries and I was like haha and then the next day I went to school and he was in the cafeteria and I was like you know grade 11 or whatever and he goes hey and he was sitting with like all these hot girls all the hot guys and he's sitting on the table and he goes he's sitting on the calf table and he goes hey McGonagall and it's like a huge school and I'm like what and he's like you gave me diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> and then somehow he That's was so like funny. cooler for saying that and then everyone just thought I gave guys diarrhea <laughs> everyone's like tell us more tell us more <laughs> and I was like please I wanted to have sex by grade 12 and he's like no not gonna happen you have to wait till university where you have sex with a man with a ponytail <laughs> so <laughs> but yeah so I gave the really cool guy diarrhea. Oh, no. Your last name is perfect for a uh, high school movie scene. Hey, McGonagall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what, Kenny? Come on. <laughs> the kid like slides off the table wearing white jeans. <laughs> just, it's just covered in shit. still shitting himself. <laughs> Everyone still thinks he's really cool. Everyone lifts him up on their shoulders. <laughs> Everyone starts throwing shit at you. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, just tomatoes, garbage, his shit. Yeah. What a loser. Yeah, I mean, I, you, that's what I thought, but apparently it was me. I was the loser. Who yeah, but who's laughing now? Well, you know, I, I do cry when I laugh, so <laughs> it evens out. Yeah, but that was uh, <laughs> yeah. so epic. Wow, that's yeah. great. So those were four siblings. That's that's a pretty that's big still, that's household. That's still yeah. a lot of siblings, guys. That's you. What's it's the spread like? That's you plus four. Um, no, it's me and three. Okay. But oh. we lived beside my cousin, and we shared a backyard. Uh, so there was really f- like five kids yeah, at yeah. all times. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was huge. And it was very much trailer uh, park boy vibes. Like my brother is very much like, yeah, like Ricky. And like they're just yeah. they're just small town boys. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I have an older brother and then there's me and then my sister and then my my younger brother. Okay, okay. Yeah. So sort of in the, yeah. one of the two one of the middle kids? 
Well, they're all like um, nuts. Like I love them, but like my sister lives off the grid. You know, she steals internet from a convenience store. Um, <laughs> you know, like disc, one disc Down at a time. time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's like, it's actually a pretty sick deal. Like we have not been caught yet. <laughs> like amazing. <laughs> You're 29. Um, <laughs> so friggin' sick. Monster energies all the time. Um, and my older brother, like, yeah, I was just always the oldest person. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. really feel like the eldest and they're all like little babies. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you get together for Christmas? Have a big family gathering? Invite no, all the cousins No, I friends? stayed here. Well, they were like, you freaking live in COVID central. And I was like, yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> so I stayed away. Mm -hmm. When I was yeah. on that weird tech job in, uh, and, and it, I ended up in Toronto there for a little bit. I uh, mm -hmm. was working with this guy who has, I'm not kidding you, nine siblings oh that's why wow. 10 oh, children he's man. he was like 20 28 or something like that mm. but they just like were fully committed to making as many babies as they could yeah my best friend is a family of that too like yeah. just so many and then so many grandbabies and it's huge mm -hmm. but they had like a farm i guess in rural <laughs> ontario so well they just ran free <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah free range Range. I just can't imagine having that many kids. Like I grew up with a huge family and now I'm like, Ooh, what? Yeah. yeah. How? Yeah. yeah. No. I grew up with two yeah. siblings and I'm like, how could like three of us? And I'm like, that's, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So much. Like someone's always getting in trouble. Like my mom was just never not talking to a principal or something. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. ugh. Yeah, too many. Kids are stealing internet from the cafeteria again. <laughs> <laughs> and they're giving us diarrhea. <laughs> us the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I was such a loser. Like, I remember dressing like a teacher, and I just thought, I'm on it. I just thought it was cool. Like, I just was like... I just couldn't figure it out. Well, you're, you're doing the attendance at the beginning of class. Like, <laughs> yeah. the teacher, like doesn't want you to. <laughs> Pretty cool. And I'm like, Susan, please, please. You and Rick are going through some stuff. So you take a seat and I'll do attendance. <laughs> you're going through enough, all right? <laughs> Here's your coffee. I saw, I saw you at Ricky's. We were both getting the floral blouse. You know, you know. <laughs> oh, Ricky's. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get sponsored by Ricky's. <laughs> that would be amazing if you were all sponsored by Ricky's. <laughs> and every guest got like a mid rise business yeah. slack. It'd be so nice. Guests on the Hogs Podcast <laughs> outfits are provided by Ricky's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was always so fancy for me growing up, or Jacob. I don't know if you guys had a Jacob growing up. No Jacob. No, no. but, but definitely no. Ricky's was like, yeah. I could not go in there where I was just like, I, I was I was not allowed. I would my mom thought I would shit everywhere or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is like a nice looking yeah. store. Yeah. Like it's like your aunt's house, like her that one living room that you're, no one sits yeah, in. Yeah, you're not allowed yeah. to go in and the floor has to be vacuumed <laughs> in the same direction. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And Le Chateau was your like oh. badass cousin's room where like there was like yeah. a make out section and yeah. stuff. <laughs> Stitches was where you oh, did yeah. drugs. <laughs> yeah, that was the alleyway that you yeah. did drugs. Stitches, Stitches is where yeah. you bought the drugs. <laughs> Stitches was always like so like spooky like when I would be confident enough to like go shopping by myself and they'd be like do you need any help and I'd be like no and just like leave <laughs> just trying to buy some jeans some flare jeans you know same thing with Spencer Gifts that was like just oh, yeah. the creepiest fucking store Ooh. Mm -hmm. I remember going in there yes. and like being like just like kind of looking at this one thing that I thought was a sucker but it was a condom with a stick attached to it and then my friend was like you know I'm a condom kind of right and I was like what? Of course I do what do you mean a condom with a stick on yeah, it yeah I don't know but it looked like a sucker and I wanted it <laughs> Of course, I'm the idiot for not knowing that this condom has a stick attached to it. <laughs> was it attached to the end? So it pooked out of the end? Or was it like on it the was bottom? Like, it was on the bottom, so it looked like a lollipop. Like a right? lollipop. So like, oh. it was a lollipop, and then the top was a condom, and then there was like a wrapper, but like I didn't see That's... that it was a condom inside. That That's not your no. fault. Thank you. This seems elaborate. <laughs> 
be on <laughs> yeah. compare. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like Spencer's gifts ran out of ideas. And they were like, oh, yeah. a lollipop that's a condom. <laughs> <laughs> and a bong. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just someone's like last minute idea at the business mm-hmm. meeting because they stayed up all night watching water. <laughs> <laughs> Stick condom. It wasn't even like- in the salacious section either. It was it was at the register. Whoa. Oh, it was <laughs> in like case a- you that's forgot wild. to pick it up while you were yeah. in the store. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a couple on your way out. <laughs> you, did you? Were you like showing it to your friends? Like this looks amazing. I'm gonna treat myself. <laughs> I can't wait to dive into this. <laughs> I just love spending my own money. <laughs> There's just nothing better than like teens who are like having adult moments, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, do you have a store card? It's like, well, yes, I do. Thank you, Susie. Shear. <laughs> I am a scene the member. The wallet that they have is only for holding that. Card. <laughs> <laughs> it has it's their parents' phone number in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. did have that. <laughs> and it's corduroy yeah. and tan, yeah. and I was very proud of it. <laughs> With some tokens from an arcade you went to last summer. <laughs> yeah, because you're just like, ooh, it makes it feel yeah, heavier. Yeah. So you're putting yeah. whatever you can in the wallet. <laughs> Only change, please. <laughs> this is like coins. <laughs> oh, yeah, walls with big zippers full of change. Yeah. Loved it. Such a teen. I, when I worked at Indigo um, oh, congratulations. Uh, chapters or whatever. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, the grossest thing is like the lines would be really long and when people would come pay for books sometimes they would just hand me like warm change that they had been like holding like little creeps buying Harry Potter and it's like come on put it in your pocket there's no rush it's like ugh so nasty anyways yeah it should be some sort of like uh Rule against yeah. that. No, put up a sign. No hot change. <laughs> <laughs> but we all know what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, so Jesus gross. Christ. Like, wet hot change is so gross. Yeah. yeah. You're like, do you hate yeah. me? <laughs> and you have to like, yeah. There should be. Yeah, the hot change. Like, there should be just little uh, containers at the till where you can dump your change in and then it automatically counts it and sorts it. <laughs> you shouldn't oh, have yeah. to, yeah. you know? Why not? Or at the very least, just be like, sorry, I've been really holding on to this. Like, even yeah. just a warning before you're like, yeah. okay. Own it, apologize, yes. and help work out a solution you sh- here. Yes. You should have gone you to know the better, bank and exchanged better. it for cool change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like the same amount of loonies. Something colder. <laughs> I'm okay with room temp if that's okay with you. As long as it's just the same uh, exchange rate, it's fine. <laughs> same. Yeah, you I don't want to be a bother. The lady at the bank is like, and uh, how hot would you like this? <laughs> Steaming, thank you. Yes. A steaming pile of change. <laughs> I'm going to Ricky's later. <laughs> <laughs> to demand my job back. <laughs> I can't help it that I gave everyone diarrhea. I'm just that kind of woman. <laughs> it was a potluck. <laughs> we all brought dishes. We were all asked to. <laughs> um, so, yeah, another new thing we're doing on season two, although this is episode four, so the word new only has, I think, one more episode left. I don't even think it's Ooh. new starting next Dissane. episode. Yeah. Or maybe this is the episode where it's no longer new. I don't think it's new. I think new after wow. three, after four. Four, you're three. no more. It's regular. It's moderate. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not old. Yeah. No. Mm. No, not old. Um, so, uh, well, yeah, another thing that we're doing is we're ending every episode with a brand new sketch that we wrote and uh, recorded. And, of course, Rusty Matthias, our sound uh, producer and editor, he uh, does his audio wizardry on it and makes it sound really sweet, really slick. Stick around to the very end of this episode so you can hear that full sketch. Um, um, but uh, we're kind of... Uh, bringing this podcast in for a landing with some sketch pitches so i know second city they like to improvise and work out sketches like that what we like to do here at hunks is i like to you know we take a turn every every week and somebody 
spits out just some hot, hot garbage that they've been holding <laughs> in their hand for too long. Yeah, great. And uh, hot change. Hot yeah. diarrhea hot change. change. <laughs> hot diarrhea change. And this is going to be an exercise for all of you on how to support a friend who's struggling. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> this week, this week it is my turn to pitch some sketches. So I have some hot garbage ideas for you. Are you ready to hear them? Oh, yeah. Ready. Oh, yeah. Right. Very excited. Um, how about uh, a Where Are They Now series, but instead of for people, it's for things. Like uh, scissors <laughs> that you lost? or Scissors that you lost, yeah. Or Tamagotchi pet, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Or uh, okay. like what your Tamagotchi has been up to since you stopped feeding it 20 years ago. Oh, I like, <laughs> like that. Yeah, what it had to do to survive. The life it, the life it had to live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's like Water World, but for Tamagotchis. <laughs> Water World, but Tamagotchi. Everyone dies so fast. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went on, on a canoe trip, and um, my friend brought her Tamagotchi. And, <laughs> and it's like canoe trips where it's like you're... there's. Like that's that's a stupid thing to bring, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not car camping. That's like that's a and yeah. and yeah. And, it, and it fell in between these crev- crevices in the rocks. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, and, and it had so, to like, chew its own arm down. off. Yeah, basically, it was like eight feet down. It had to eat its own shit to survive. No, but you could actually you could actually hear it dying because oh, no. like it was still alive, oh, and you could hear it no. being like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it was really sad, oh, and no. we performed a, a, a funeral for the Tamagotchi pet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that's really sweet. Like a Viking funeral. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. we shot a flaming arrow down in the crevice. And then it immediately <laughs> bounced him we, we had to evacuate because we started a forest yeah. fire. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, I guess we have we probably have a big listener base that's between uh, twelve and eighteen. Uh, so if you don't know, I Tamagotchi was like the original artificial intelligence. Uh, he was like the first iPhone sort of thing. Um, the first iPhone was yeah. a Tamagotchi. Yeah. I agree. It taught us how to yeah. be a slave to an electrical device that insisted mm-hmm. big yeah. it needed us more than we needed it. Mm-hmm. I remember one time so a guy asked me to borrow my Tamagotchi <laughs> and I let him borrow it. And then I was just standing there with nothing to do. <laughs> That's, that was decadent. What do I that know? was decadent. What do I that was need? nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feed these birds. <laughs> oh no! I gave birds diarrhea. Guess I'll feed my child. It's <laughs> fucked. Oh, you don't want to see oh, it. Oh, I think the weed's here, Tim. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> right, I had that's, some. That's nice. Marijuana d- delivered. And, uh, that's isn't that so lovely now? Yeah. Just a little delivery. Yeah. You know. Instead of like some like your friend's cousin's Reggie, and you, he's like, "Can you just sit in my car for a second? It's oh, like, oh, Tim, they need your ID. <laughs> oh, jeez. They need to see you and your ID. <laughs> Hurry up! It's very cold. I don't oh, want to leave this man dead stranded. Oh, oh wow, that's this nice. is uh, this is unprecedented. I'm excited to hear how this exchange. That was went. very <laughs> fast, you guys. That was. that was. We have a small house. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like That's... walking down the stairs getting upset because this weed delivery guy needs to see my ID before he gives me this <laughs> thing that like would have sent me to jail five years ago. Yeah, and oh. it's like minus thirty outside and he's waiting in the cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh and I'm giving him shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice little bag. Here. Oh wow! I would show you it, you but it, it looks, it's fucked. I can't even show you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fucked. <laughs> That's nice. What are you, are you getting? Some edibles? Is it a is it a rolled treasure? What are you? I got um, I got some this uh, uh, weed called Daily Special that I really enjoy. It's a uh, okay. Mm. Sort of a lower THC, um, quite a bit lower. It's funny, like all the weed stores now, they're like, oh, you want to get absolutely fucked? Yeah. No. No, I just want to get a little baked, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never. Do you want to get as high as possible? <laughs> <laughs> you want to ruin your week? 
<laughs> Do you want to cry tonight? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Thanks. Do you want to realize the depths of your problems? <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah. uh, and yeah. then I'm, I'm trying out uh, I'm trying out this little uh, vape uh, pen oh I love a vape a pen. pen yeah it's it's nice just a little like a little yeah. tube off it you know and this thing mm. uh, apparently it gives you like a little vibration when you've had two and a oh, half oh you got a dose oh there. I love that uh, yeah oh. it's like a, one of those uh, electric toothbrushes tell you when it's over Nice. That's nice. Is that yeah? Is that one of those dosist? Dose, whatever. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Dosist. Mm. Yep. Dosist. I've been bliss. hearing great mm-hmm. things. They should. They should sponsor they your podcast. Should. They, they already should. gave me a, a free thing because I got one that didn't work, and I sent them an email, and they sent me a free thing. So there you go. Free plug. That's dosist. so nice. It was very nice. That's really. That's nice that you. It's did hard that. to find good customer service. Mm-hmm. And it's a nice look. It's a yeah. little. Now I can't tell like if the, if if like the anxiety that I get, like maybe maybe three quarters of the time from from uh, smoking slash in consuming weed, um, is because of the weed, or if it's because of my mental state, mm. and so, because mm. I'm just like I don't I don't have any. I'm not really taking any agency when it comes to my weed choices. I'll just take whatever whatever Tim has. Right. So like. I'm just yeah. What do you guys think? Do do you think it has more to do with the mental state? I think it's for me for sure that and like um, yeah, I I can't handle it that well. Like especially in like a social situation. But then I I also when I say that if I'm alone, if I'm like not in a good place or anxious or right. like just deciding to not chill mm-hmm. out, yeah, I will freak myself out. Opposed to just relaxing and having a good yeah. time. Right. So I don't know. Yeah, I think it's... I need low. <clears throat> What's that? You do blow? <laughs> I wish. No. I prefer just to do blow. I know exactly no. what I'm going to get every time. <laughs> no, 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 There's no, no sativa one. or indica. <laughs> yeah, I just do blow. Just do coke. No. Uh, I always knew I could never do coke. I'm already the most. Like, I'm so thankful I'm on this podcast. Like, cause I, But it's a fine line. I know. Yeah. I can push it at any point. Uh, no, I, I need a low dose. And then I coughed like a like a troll dying under a bridge. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. Just go. Just go. <laughs> just leave me. Leave me. I'm gross. I'm disgusting. Do your own riddles. <laughs> <laughs> Do your own riddles. Uh, that's a good sketch. Maybe the troll gets diarrhea and he's like, oh, I gotta go. You do your own, you do your own riddles. You know? That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Thanks. <laughs> the troll didn't didn't uh, plan ahead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ill-prepared troll. Ill-prepared Bill. Yeah. Picked up some real spicy Indian food on the way to the bridge. <laughs> Ugh, where are you guys going? Oh, I need a minute. I need a minute. Just wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> um, so this kind of relates to uh, the sketch that aired on last week's episode of the Hunks podcast. So... Uh, uh, how do you how to explain cool pubes to a dog? <laughs> 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 to a dog? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> My two dogs are just staring at me while you're saying that. You guys want to know about pubes? <laughs> you guys know what you guys know what cool pubes are? Oh, you know? I love that he starts okay. stretching Blanket and wagging the tail. <laughs> <laughs> you guys down to oh, you guys got pubes? You're getting ready for you lesson time. Dog? <laughs> she's doing whatever she fucking oh. oh here she is here she is she's googling cool that's pubes. cute you want to yeah. see, <laughs> see some cool pubes because <laughs> you like do you have pubes? cool pubes yeah <laughs> you got you have two wonderful dogs we got a, a dog ourselves back in september i'm sure you've oh. asked this question of yourself before too um but you know it's difficult training a dog sometimes. You just have to learn how to communicate to something that in oh, a way yeah. that they'll understand it. English isn't, you know, you see people all the time on the streets like, show you why don't you understand that I'm asking you not to do something, you fucking Aww. dog? Aww. Yes. So cute. Just Peggy. So cute. Yeah, I have two like full... Yeah. 
like first of all my one dog burger is a full troll with diarrhea <laughs> not to bring it up again but like oh my god <laughs> but like he is just such he's staring at me right now he's such a turd and i got him from friends and he was already um like i'm not i do what i fucking want <laughs> yeah and I don't give a shit. And, uh, but my other dog, Vic, was like, it took a while because he was so timid and I was loud. And it was like this weird exchange mm-hmm. of like, we had to figure out how to communicate with each other. But training's really yeah. hard. Yeah. It's really, really hard. Really hard. <clears throat> I didn't realize how much like patience it would take. <laughs> Which you think that would be oh, a given. And I'm not even like, yeah. And it's hard. And when people are like, I love my dog, I miss, you know, it's like, no, sometimes you need a break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes like oh, today yeah. on our walk, I threatened to punch her in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. M- many times. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think about what my neighbors hear from me all the time because I don't even really say like sit or stay. I'll just be like, in what world? <laughs> what I'm to say. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, just I'm just like Jesus Christ, you piece of shit. I love them, but I'm just yeah, like, yeah. oh my god. What gives you the right? <laughs> I paid for you yeah. with debit. <laughs> you think you're better than me? Oh, I see. <laughs> I got you for tax purposes, bitch. <laughs> Not kidding. I do love them. Sorry. Sorry if that was too much. <laughs> never. Never. Um, final sketch pitch. Okay. Uh, oof. Um, oh, this book. How about well. uh, how about a reverse dangerous minds situation? <laughs> so the students turn their chairs around. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher is the one that's out of control. <laughs> the teacher is out of control. The students have to. <laughs> they have to get together to keep their teacher from losing their job. Crystal, please think about Lance and the kids. The, the students get together after school. They're like, I think we're losing them. <laughs> All the teachers form a gang. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, I'm like laughing and I find it funny, but I like haven't seen Dangerous Minds. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so the, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah, Michelle yeah, Pfeiffer. The idea behind yeah. Dangerous Minds. And there's been other versions of this of that premise done before too. Like School of Rock is somewhat similar too, where it's like mm. a teacher who's a bit of a out of a fish out of water type situation and they take on a class of right. kids who, you know, you got to try to reach them in some other. Uh, it's some like that John thing. Lovitz one too, right? Didn't he? Didn't he high do one? High school high, yeah, that is. Yeah, high that, school I high. I think that is literally a parody, a parody of Dangerous. Okay, Minds. yeah, no, I've seen that one. I haven't seen Dangerous Minds. <laughs> Did you see the John Lovitz version? John Lovitz. He's really thankful he did. <laughs> Is that with Red Man and Method Man? No, I don't think so. I think they had mm. their own, they they had how high? Oh, how high? That's yeah. right. Mm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't High School High a, a Wayans Brothers? No, I don't think so. I think it was no. just John Lovitz. All thinking of three different movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, with yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. And Kate Winslet, and they're on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Waterworld. Waterworld. Water Only the rich survive. <laughs> Titanic is just the <laughs> prequel to Waterworld. <laughs> And you got to watch it yeah. because if you know the origin story, it's way Titanic better. was based on a stunt show. <laughs> <laughs> Where a lot of people died. <laughs> You'd be like a where are they now for the Titanic. <laughs> Um, uh, all right. Well, this has been an absolutely wonderful episode, Stacey. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time. And, oh, my gosh. And being this our was guest. such a treat. Uh, how would you rate yeah, us uh, on, you a, so on a gracious scale of one to ten? 
Oh my gosh. Well, I've cried all my makeup off and I would say 11 out of 10 Shit, yeah. of graciousness. <laughs> nice. It was just the best way to spend a night. All right. So great uh, talking to you. Yeah. And it was really nice oh. seeing your dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, Burgers decided to just be a total piece of garbage and he's just ch- chewing on a bone right where we're recording. Just like... <laughs> Do you have you, do you have social media accounts for your dogs or does it uh, fall under your banner? It's following under my banner. If you want to see Great. some, well, Vic is very camera shy, but Burger will stare yes. you dead in the camera. <laughs> uh, so if you like to see Danny DeVito as a dog, uh, <laughs> you can follow me at uh, <laughs> the Stacy McG. Yeah, uh, is where I am for burger content absolutely great content not only the burger thanks. but also the podcast and and oh, the podcasts i should say the regulars mm. which i was listening to yeah. an episode today and you said you used a phrase uh talking about uh uh a, not a good person maybe as like somebody who's just a pants full <laughs> <laughs> A pant load. Sorry, a pant load. A pant load. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought that was a real word because my dad called so many people pant loads, and then when I got so when I turned perfect. into an adult, yeah, I caught myself because you know, like I got a pant load, and they're like, "I'm sorry, who hurt you? Are you okay? <laughs> Did you fall down a hill and still had to come to work?" Uh, and we're like, "That's not a word." Yeah, should all that's, that needs to be in everyone's dialect. That's a great <sighs> phrase. A pant load. load. Oh yeah. yeah. Man, we should. I want to ask everyone because, like, I'm sure that everyone has those words that yeah. they just thought that they're because, like, right? Uh, they're yeah. and they're so fascinating. A pant load. Yeah. I'm gonna use that now. That's so. Yeah. That's so funny. My dad used to call farts bum Please. bubbles, which is so <laughs> fucking <laughs> gross now. Like, yeah. so fucking gross. Yeah. So gross. And I'm gonna say that now. <laughs> Look at that little bum bubble. <laughs> Oh, uh, your bum chewing gum. Your bubbles. <laughs> uh, so yeah, of course they can uh, check out uh, your YouTube channel as well, the Regulars Podcast. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stacy gets rich. Oh. All that stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, for my podcast, The Regulars, we go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's like a little morning talk mm-hmm. show. So that's at uh, the YouTube channel is called The Regulars. So it's just me and my best pal, Jason. Yeah. So check that out at 1230. Very funny. On the day. Very, very yeah. funny. Thank so you. Nice. That's so nice. Jason's so funny. I met him a long time ago when him and oh, Pat really? Thornton and Bob Banks were in a sketch group PB&J. Yeah. They came out to Winnipeg. They did a show at the Low Pub. It was ridiculously funny. Funny, funny guy. He's the yeah. best. Yeah, he's the most fun. So, um, yeah. Cool. So everyone come hang out. Any other uh, fun projects or anything like that you want to plug for stuff coming up in the future? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, like I Furniture. said, the Instagram, um, you know, just, you yeah. know, being a thirst monster on there, um, <laughs> trying to become a model because oh, yes. comedy's mm-hmm. dead. Yeah. Um, so come join that. But yeah. that's about it. The regulars and the Insta. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, Rory, where can people find Hunk stuff if they uh, give you, a shit? Yeah, if you even <laughs> give a shit, you can find uh, Hunk's at, <laughs> at, at Hunk's Comedy on, uh, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. We've got a uh, you know, bunch of sketches from years past on on. Uh, YouTube and hopefully we'll be able to do some more sometime this year live and in yeah. person. Please. Yeah. yeah. We need it. Um, Dana, I understand Hunks has an album coming out soon. That's right. We're gonna, we got an <laughs> album coming out soon. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look for that sometime in April, perhaps. Um, uh, other than that, this is the end of the podcast. Stick around for the sketch. Thank you very much, Rusty. And uh, one more round of applause for our wonderful guest, Stacy McGonagall. Yeah, thanks, Stacy. Thanks, pals. It was so, so fun. Much fun. Thanks so Bye-bye. much. Oh, look at this old oil lamp. I wonder. <laughs> I am the genie of the lamp, and I will grant you three wishes. All right, keep up, because I'm not saying it again. I want cool pubes, a lamp, Whoa, and- whoa, whoa, slow down. First of all, you can keep this lamp when I'm gone. Second of all, 
your pubes are already pretty cool. I know what I want. Okay, okay, but maybe for this last wish, you just take a minute. 75 cent chicken fingers, five of them. Your wish is to pay me a genie for a finite amount of chicken fingers. Don't make me repeat myself. All right, look, I'm not supposed to do this, but most people will wish yeah, for- Yeah, most people are pricks. I want those chicken fingers. All right, that'll be 375, please. Here's uh, five bucks. Keep the change. Okay. That's three wishes, so I guess I'll head out. Stupid genie. I only tip like 35%. Let's have a look here. Nice. Hey, for the last time, quit looking at your cool pubes in my antique store. sketch comedy group from Winnipeg. Got it? They are Rory Fallis, Tim Gray, Matt Nightingale, and Dana Smith. Episodes are produced and recorded each week from their homes in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Additional production, editing, and sound design by me, Rusty Mattias, at my home. Thanks again to this week's special guest, Stacy McGonagall. Brought to you by Ricky's Mid-Rise Business Slats and Dosest Vapes. Dosest Vapes. Get your podcast editor some of those. Anyway, listen and subscribe to Hunks wherever you're listening right now. And tune in next week for another incredible special guest that's going to blow your freaking mind. Have a great week, everyone. Okay, bye!